The topic of this video lecture is self-consistency in Kuhn-Sharm scheme. So the theory and all of the derivations behind all of these equations has been explained in another video. You can find the link to that video in the description. Okay, but the topic of this video lecture, the focus of this video lecture is only on the self-consistency in Kuhn-Sharm scheme. So what is self-consistency? Well, in self-consistency consistency scheme, you will see that there will be a cycle that is going to be followed. Okay, so let's just say that first of all, what you have to do, you have to take an initial guess. Okay, you have to take an initial guess for the electron density. You have to guess an electron density. And for this electron density, you have to calculate the effective potential. You have to calculate the cohn sham potential using this equation. Okay. And here, as you can see, that Ks represents the cohn sham V external is the external potential. And this is the Hartree-Fock potential. And Vxc is the exchange correlation potential. So using this equation, you have to calculate the effective potential. And when you have calculated the effective potential, you just have to plug in this value in the cohn sham equation. Okay, so now you have to plug in the value of the effective potential in the Kuhn-Sharm equation and solve this equation. After solving this equation, you have to calculate the electron density. Okay, so if this, the value of this electron density comes out to be equal to our initial guess, then you can see that this is the self-consistent scheme. And if the electron density of this, the electron density that is calculated through this formula is not equal to the initial guess, then what you have to do, you have to again guess another electron density and solve all of this equation to calculate the density again. You have to repeat this step again and again and again and again until the initial electron density become equal to the density that is being calculated at the end of all of these steps and using this electron density we can calculate all the ground state properties of a system so in summary you have to just guess an initial electron density solve all of these equations and then calculate the electron density if this electron density becomes equal to the initial guess initial guess then we can say that the there is self consistency in cohn sham scheme and if the final answer of the density does not come equal to the initial guess, then we can say that there is no self-consistency. So what we will have to do, we will have to change the initial guess and then calculate all of this equation and then calculate the density again. We have to repeat this step again and again and again until the initial guess becomes equal to the electron density that we are going to calculate at the end of the step which becomes equal to the initial guess is the true ground state electron density. Okay. Okay. So that was the self-consistency in Kuhn-Sharm scheme. If you have any question, you can ask in the comments.